innocent or inappropriate? An elementary student's drawing at the center of controversy. It is our top story tonight at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones and I'm Siobhan Klepfer. A drawing by an 11 year old was confiscated by school officials for being deemed inappropriate. Now her parents are looking for answers and an apology. Nate Salazar is here for you after speaking with both sides of this debate. Nate, tell us more. Sherry Siobhan, that's exactly right. Here is the artwork in question. To her parents, it's just an innocent drawing, but school officials called it a disruption of the classroom. And now this is causing all kinds of controversy. Sierra Carter has been battling with Hanover Horton schools to get this image erased from her daughter's file. Everybody is refusing to remove the artwork and they're refusing to apologize, and those are the only two things I've asked for. To some, an innocent, well-dressed pig, but that's not what school officials thought. I got a call from my daughter's teacher saying that they thought she had drawn something inappropriate in the classroom in art class. Um, the teacher looked at it, said she had to give it to the principal to get his thoughts on that, and she told me that when she gave it to him and asked him what his thoughts were, he instantly said, write her up for it. When Carter was shown the drawing, she was surprised. This is not what she meant to draw like it's very clearly a bow tie and after confronting the school's principal he asked me you know who do you expect to apologize to her that was his response to me but carter persisted school officials eventually agreed to remove the write-up but they would still keep documentation of the incident they stated they needed it as a paper trail in case my daughter did anything else we reached out to the superintendent, who said the staff handled the situation with compassion and discretion, and that the student was never singled out or ostracized. But Carter says this has affected her daughter. Each day, you know, when it's time to go to school, she keeps saying, I, I don't want to go, Mom. She's called me from school numerous times this week, just saying, Mom, I'm, you know, I'm anxious. I'm so worried I'm going to get in trouble for something, you know. The whole controversy has generated a lot of attention on social media, thanks to mom's TikToks. She hopes it sparks change. And, you know, I never expected any of this to become such a big deal. It never should have become a big deal. Well, we want to apologize for a bit of the audio ducking mm -hmm. um, uh, during that story. Um, the superintendent does say that, quote, it's unfortunate that a one-sided narrative has been created on social media that paints our staff in a negative light. Sherry and Siobhan. What is the main takeaway that the family's saying? What lessons maybe have they learned through all of this? Possibly to not rush into a decision. I think that's the main takeaway on both sides of the aisle on this one. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate.